the world. Hey, Shalom. All oh, praises to you. How about Shem? You have a shy about Shem Rakakodash. Hey, much mercy to you, sincere brothers out there, the true house of David. All you believers and all you ones that are of God, that know you're of God. It's nothing wrong with knowing you are of God, knowing that you are the election and understanding that God is is working with you in a way where you can't really explain it, but you know that is of God and you have a certain understanding that many can't get. And the understanding is really just understanding the new covenant and agreeing with the Lord and just uh, repenting. That's that's all this is. Um, guys make it so complicated because they're not of God. So they don't understand that the Lord is dealing with certain men right now. You know, we're not waiting on anything. Uh, these camps and all this shit was set up in opposition that you won't figure out that you're of God from within. And even when the Lord told them, them wicked scribes and them Pharisees that they were gods, they were they were. The Lord was telling them things that was in the scriptures and they was against that, you know, to a certain extent. And then they were against the Lord, bro. Like we're dealing with the same spirits right now that was against uh, the Lord back then. And now we're dealing with those spirits right now. You see what I'm saying? And our language was the Hebrew. But they, they took our language, they took us, you know, like we've been here um, in America. We our people have learned all these fucking these Roman Edomite ways. And, and so when we um, say the Lord's name in Hebrew, we actually connect back with our power. You see, that's what when you go back to that. Uh, that that movie, I think it was uh, Roots or whatever, and they they beat that that guy Kuta Ken. They they told him his name was uh, Toby and shit. That was the illustration of them. Everything was taken away from us, but we still was the Lord's people. So that prophecy happened. You see us being brought over here and all those prophecies, uh, all that all that happened. Now. What's happening now is the few of us out of all our people, because our people, they had a greater sin. The few of us are figuring out that we're really connected to God. Just the few of us, not everybody. A lot of people, they have a zeal of, uh, of God, like, you know, because we're God's people, but not according to knowledge. So what we're teaching over here is, is really heavier than anything that you could teach because yeah, you got these groups and shit. They may teach prophecies or this group or these guys may teach this and that and this. But what we're teaching uh, is certain of our uh, people to repent because they have God in them and they were they are part of the election. You see, and not everybody has God in them and not everybody's going to separate and fucking uh, get a, get out from the uncircumcised multitude. A few are. And um that's what this thing is. This ain't something of the world is included in it. This is something where the Lord is 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 making is pulling a few men out. Like I did that lesson when Paul walked past Peter, John, and them. You know, when he walked past certain other disciples, they just followed him. And that's what the Lord was doing. He was actually handpicking and drawing certain men out, pulling them out of what they were doing. This is what the spirit is doing. It's not pulling world or groups or camps of guys out. These guys that's been drew into these camps, men are gathering them into these big ass camps. This is a narrow world where the Lord is pulling you out. You know, one by one, hand picking you out. And Shalom to all you false prophets that are in the spirit of um, those wicked scribes and the Pharisees that were against the Lord when he came. The story is all through the Gospels. So the Gospels is the most heaviest part of the whole scriptures, understanding the Lord and the spirit. Now, 
it's not a coincidence guys are against that weight because a lot of guys they're not moving like it first of all you got a lot of guys they're they're carnal than a motherfucker because they really don't have god in them like that and they're using this for the carnal you can't take um the the, the, the teaching of the covenant and you can't take the new covenant and then turn around and use it for um like your um um you're using it for the world you see what I'm saying you, you're taking this and you're using it for the world and the thing about Yahweh Shai he didn't the, his doctrine it wasn't for the world when he came like if you understand what I'm saying it was for those selected few you have a shy uh matter of fact let me read this in Luke real quick this is what the Lord did and when you read this over and over brothers be begin to understand that the Lord he didn't come for the whole world like that that's why he said I pray for them I pray now for the world this is for the election and so like if you're of god you're not going to be teaching people to put the lord off till he come back or you're waiting on something you see what i'm saying that don't make any sense just like you go to the book of acts the only thing that they were teaching was the lord getting men just to repent to the lord because the rest of the world they're not going to repent uh unto the lord Uh, let me read this real quick. So that's what guys don't, don't understand. They, the, the men that the Lord like handpicked, you know, like, and to walk with him, it, it, it didn't have nothing to do with the world like that. You see what I'm saying? This was guys they don't understand. And these elders and all these guys, they're in the they're in the same place as those wicked scribes and those those Pharisees that was in the spirit of giving the Lord up and really being against the Lord. Now, this is Luke 10 and 16. It says, he that hear of you, hear of me. And he that despise of you, despise of me. He that despises me despises him that sent him, sent me. So if you're of God, right, and you're teaching what the Lord teach, all right, that's why now in these last few seconds, a lot of guys are really figuring out deeply that they're not really of God. They're teaching their own shit. And the whole gospel revolves around Yahweh Shai and what he did. That's what this Bible is about. It's about the Lord and what he actually did and um, how he walked. Not how you worldly motherfuckers are teaching in these camps and all you worldly motherfuckers of the new covenant that, that's, that's using this to uh, benefit off the flesh. You see what I'm saying? So, Yahweh Shai was handpicking men. So they were one with Yahweh Shai. That's why the Lord said, I ain't you and you and me. When you understand that, then you really one with the Lord. So when you one with the Lord, you become his friend. And so certain things that the Lord shows you, he's not showing everybody. And a lot of you guys, you don't read anyway. You just fucking take these, these men word for it. <laughs> Man, you know, it's crazy, man. There ain't no scriptures in there where you say you have to wait till you get to your own land. That's that's false doctrine. So these these elders, they've been adding and taking away from the scriptures for the last fucking 20 years since they've been fucking teaching, man. They're they're corrupt and old. But they see the movement of the new covenant and they see who's really teaching this thing. You see, we we and we're like uh we're like we're like hidden away in the in the pocket of YouTube on this in a in the corner somewhere, but we're really teaching the Lord, getting men to repent. That's what's really happening. And they have no power over that. Man repenting. Everything else is just lies and guys are not of the Lord. Guys are of the flesh. 
That's why you have to separate and come from the flesh as much as possible. That's the name of the game. If, like I did that sit down yesterday, if you're able to separate and come out of the world more and more, especially these camps, because they're totally against God. Even though they're teaching the Bible, it's heavy. It's, it is heavy. Guys are teaching against the Lord. That's why you have to understand the only thing that the Lord was getting you to understand was his covenant. And he was getting men to repent and he was healing men. And the men that he was dealing with, they were walking with him. And he was showing them certain things that he didn't show the multitudes. All right. So this ain't a multitude thing like that. This is what we're teaching for is for the few that are of God that are going to come out. We're drawing men out. This ain't some fucking this ain't like uh, the world, like marketing and sales and shit like that. <laughs> This is different, man. This is different. You don't marry um, this like with the world. That's why guys are of the world. They don't. They're not in the spirit. How shy, how he moved is is different. It's not nothing of the world. That's why guys are all fucking mixed up <laughs> and they're carnal. This, this is exclusively for the, the, the men of God. Luke 10 and 16. He that hear of you, hear of me. And he that despise of you, despise of me. And he that despise of me, despise of him that sent me. And the 70 returned again with joy saying, Lord, the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And the 70, again, this wasn't the world. These were the men that the Lord was was sitting out with the spirit and they had the power to help man repent and this is just, this is like the same thing to they had power over spirits and to help to help bring spirits out of guys and this is the same thing the two witnesses have in the book of revelations they have power to to uh shut down heaven you see so by that power is actually having men repent because when the 144,000 repent, that shuts everything down. And guys are repenting. It says, it says, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, behold, Satan is lightning fall from heaven. Do you see that? So guys are falling, bro. They're falling. They're falling. Like their spirit is falling. Like guys have exalted themselves. Look, guys are exalted in the spirit, but deep down they know they're not of God. And deep down they know we got their ass in the spirit. They know like they don't sit well with like, with like what we're doing over here. Because we're really, this is how you're really supposed to teach. You're supposed to do the miracles and you're supposed to help men heal, but then you go back to the mountains. So guys may have the world, but they don't have God, bro. They, they, they don't have a soul. They don't have a quickening spirit. They're dead. That's why the Lord said, and um, that's why they were so much against the Lord when he came. Because the Lord was a quickening spirit, and these guys was the well, these guys were deaf. They were grazed. <laughs> and that's how they are today. Guys gain the world, but they don't have their soul. They're they, they're not they're not in the spirit of Yahweh. They're in the spirit of the world teaching the Bible. So we're teaching brothers to be able to see that shit. And everybody that's really of God, you're not going to be of the world like that. That's what we're explaining. This is a path you really have to walk on your own. Yeah, you get in the word out, you may teach. But you go back to your mountain and you go back and you be you dwell alone in the spirit. Maybe with you and just a few disciples. This ain't for the world. The the scriptures say the fashion of this world passes away. And the things that are seen are temporary, but the things of God are, are eternal. Faith, mercy, and discernment. These are the heavier matters of the law. Really believing in the things you don't see. And really being able to discern the spirit giving you discernment. The, the spirit will show you things. That's part of discernment. When the spirit shows you things. It says, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing by any means hurt you. 
So the Lord gave us power over all the enemies that are enemies of God. So if guys are enemy of us, they're enemies of Yahweh Shai. Why? Because we're teaching the gospel that the Lord teach. These certain things that men have to understand can only be taught by certain people. It says, now we're standing in this rejoice, not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. And in that hour, Yahweh rejoiced in the spirit and said, Thank thee, O Father, the Lord of heaven and earth. Thou hast hid these things from the wise. Look at that. Here you go again. It's been hid from guys that are sepro came and, and wise in this world. And prudent, it has revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it is seemed good in thy sight. It says, all things are delivered to me of my father, and no man knoweth who the son is, but the father, and who the father is, but the son, and he to whom the son will reveal him. And he turned unto the disciples and privately, and said privately, and he said unto him, and to his disciples, and said privately, privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye see. You see that? So blessed are you brothers that can really see this thing. Not with your carnal eyes, but that can really see it with your heart. It's only a few. Blessed are the eyes which see the things which you see. Right, you really see the Lord. You understand the scriptures. You understand Yahweh Shai. That's what eternal life is. Eternal life is when you come back. Every third and fourth generation, and when the third and fourth generation, this is the third thousand day, we, we're back now. And we knew the Lord in our past, and we know him now. That's why the Lord said, if you believe on me, I will give those eternal life, those that believe on me. That's what this is about. This is about cracking that code. You, you, you got to understand to, to really understand this, you have to really crack this code. The, and only the elect are really going to crack the code and understand this ain't another world. John 1 and 9, I, I love this scripture too. Uh, I love everything of, of the gospel because it's written in a way where you, if you're, if the, the Bible, right, it's written in a way like if you're of the world and you're only doing this for like carnal shit, then... Um, if you're in, if you're if you're using this right, and you're of the world, you won't really understand what the Lord is doing. Then you're not really gonna move like him. You're gonna move like the world. You have to understand that the world and the house shy, and the men of the Lord are are like day and night. Uh, John one. And nine, it says, that was the true light, which light of every man that cometh into the world. And he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. And he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. So if you're of God, right? Because the Lord said, he that despises you despises me. So if you're of God, the world's not going to know you. So if you're double honored and you have a place in the world, the will the the, the Lord does not know your ass. The world knows you. See, we're in the world and nobody knows us. That's beautiful. But we're still effective teaching, getting men to repent. So the Lord knows us. And he came unto his own and his own received him not. And check this out. But as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become the sons of power even to them that believe on his name, right? So the ones that really received the Lord, it wasn't that many. He made them sons of, of the power and what's manifesting in these times are the manifestations of the sons of power and the sons of power. They're not going to be doing this to, uh, to, uh, they're not going to use the gospel and the words of God to be, of the world he was in the world but the world knew him not
that's why a lot of guys they don't understand these scriptures Romans 8 and 19 for the earnest expectation of the creature waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God right so the, the, the what's manifesting is the ones that's really of God right and how that's manifesting because the ones that believed on on the Lord he gave them he gave them that right to eternal life to to know the Lord every time they come back in their life and we knew the Lord back then so we know them now so it's manifesting who really knew the Lord and we can see that guys that are not of the Lord that are of the world they're using this for the world they're using it to be seen in the world they're using it to to uh, have a place in the world you see that let me jump down here real quick Romans 8 and 28 and we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God right so everything is working for us that's really of God bro it's working for us in our favor it says to them who are called according to his purpose now check this out this is the point for him he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate and to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the first born among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called and he and whom he called them he also justified and whom he justified them he also glorified so this was already winner we're not waiting on no covenants we're not waiting on anything the ones that are of god you just got to figure out that you're of god that and if you when you figure that out you're justified then you're going to have to separate well the lord's going to separate you so if you're not separated from groups and camps Nine times out of ten at this time, you're still of the world. Because these groups and these camps was directly set up so you don't figure out that you're of God, all right? These groups and these camps was directly set up so you don't really fully figure out that you're of God. They still want to make you wait. <laughs> it's crazy. So it's not about repenting in these camps. They're not telling you to repent. None of these fucking dirtbags in these camps are telling you to repent to the new covenant none of them because they're all dirtbags they're all dirtbags but they could teach you all these prophecies and all this bullshit but they're not telling you to repent to the gospels there are a bunch of fucking dirtbags in these camps all these groups all these churches you see all this religion shit we're not teaching religion or christianity over here we're teaching you to repent unto the power the power is the son of god and if you're actually of God, you're going to repent and don't move like the world. The world wants to be seen. The world wants to be like the world wants to be honored. So if you're in that spirit, you're not a son of power, because if you're a son of power, you're not looking at this world to, to, to accommodate you or you're not really looking at this world to look at you in that light of something like uh, glorified in the world. You're not looking for that. Romans 8 and 30, moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? You see that? And I can read more, but I want to get out of here. I got I got to got some things to take care of. But what I'm going to do is I want to read uh, Luke. What was that? Luke. Luke 11. All right, so these guys on out on the street, man, they they are uh their graves. Luke 11 and 39. So the majority of our people they're, people they're not of God, they're actually against God. It says, "Now do we Pharisees make clean the outside?" It says the Lord said unto them, Now do you Pharisees make clean the outside of the cup and the platter, but your inward part is full of ravening and wickedness. Right. So um, dealing with um, 
these Pharisees, they have the appearance on the outside of being of God, but in the inside, they're not. It says, ye fools did not that which made which that which is without make which is within also, but ye rather alms, it says, but rather give alms of such things as ye have, and behold, all things are clean unto you. Right. So these, they were all worried about the, the outside, the, the appearance, because they're carnal. That's why Jews is scary. The only thing he worried about was some carnal shit. That's how you can tell that guys are not a God too. There's many ways to see. But woe to you Pharisees, for you tied men rule in all the manner of earth and pass over judgment and the love of God. See, they, they're passing over discernment and the love because they don't have it in them. All right? And you can see these things. It's real easy. Because if guys actually had love, they'd tell you to repent to the new covenant, not wait on the covenant or the covenant's not here. That's a red flag. <laughs> and guys that are that are using this for the carnal, for women, money or whatever, or to be seen, they're not of God, bro. They're not. You're not supposed you're supposed to take this new covenant and you use it for uh just to help draw men out the matrix, just like Morpheus in there. I, I keep using that. Just like the Lord. He didn't take the new covenant to to be of the world, bro, or to get women or to, to make money. He didn't do this for that. The Lord was blessed, man. The Lord, he was able to pick that fish up and take the money out of the fish's mouth, bro. That's how blessed the Lord was. So we, you didn't you didn't do this for money. You did this to everything will will bless you, man. The Lord will bless you if you're of God. He will take care of you. But, but guys, they don't fucking get that. It says, it says, uh, but what do you Pharisees, you for you pay tithes of ruin all manner of herbs and pass over judgment and the love of God. These are ye have done and lead not the other undone. What do you Pharisees, for you love the uppermost seats in the synagogues and greetings in the market. Beware these guys on the highways and the hedges. Beware these guys, bro. Woe to you, scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are as graves which appear not, and the men that walk over them are not aware of them. Woe to you, scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are as graves. So guys are fucking dead out there on the street. All you guys, man. All you guys, your elders, you're dead. You're dead. Your doctrine's dead. You're dead. <laughs> well, I speak to you guys a little bit later, man. Uh, what's manifesting is who we really are. All right. But it's not really for the world. It's for us to put it out there to help find other men to repent, to fish them out. And it's actually working, man. And it's a beautiful time. With that, hey, continue to repent. Hey, Shalom.
them something to drink. To the cliff!